What do you think has been the most defining moment for you, Anjit? Emotionally, I think the most defining moment for me would be the, you know, there was a lady, you know, almost 83, 84-year-old lady who once came and hugged me mm. in one of my restaurants in Calcutta in Mainland China. And she started blessing me. In uh, France, of good food? And yes, yes, the yes. kind of satisfaction she had. And she said that, may God give you a long life and you may, may God... Uh, you know, uh, expand your chain and, you know, that's the kind of thing. And she started hugging and she was very emotional. So that was extremely touching and a right. defining moment. And also it's the kind that tells you how, how quickly and how nicely you've reached out to people. But from a professional standpoint, for, for specialty restaurants, what was the turning point for you when you made a shift? What was it? See, uh, you see, the objective was we started in Bombay. And from a one mainland China or a one fine dining restaurant to go to another city and being able to sustain the brand standards mm -hmm. and, and then replicate that model and have consistency. I think having that, having achieved that partly, I mean, I still say that there's a lot of work to be done, but then still we have been there on, the, on, on that. So that's been a very, very reassuring moment. It has indeed. When you look at other entrepreneurs who are coming up, if you were to pick up a few sectors in the economy that are set to see a buzz, uh, another boom perhaps, or given India's consumption story, what would you pick up? See, you know, I mean, uh, I mean it's, it's, it's definitely food, but with that, I think I would add entertainment, mm -hmm. food and entertainment, because, you know, the disposable incomes are going up. Yeah. People are coming, the upwardly mo mobile middle class, and everything put together, these are the two things which are, there are not too many things in India that you have as yet you know, as options. So I think these, these two will be, and the tastes of these people are changing, they're experimenting, they're going out, and the whole multiplex, you know, revolution coming in and going into the smaller cities, tier two towns. Food south, courts and the food whole Food courts lot. and the whole expansion. I think that that's, that's the, uh, you know, that's the growth area. Do you think uh, this decade really has the potential of being the age of the Indian entrepreneur of innovation? I think yes. I think yes. No, it's not just the, you know, the big ones, the big, big houses. There are small, many of them who of the, I mean, some of them are here on our show and, and I'm, I'm quite confident of them that they are, they are stepping out of their working pattern. They're not right. necessarily being an employee. They're coming out and, and all of them have niche ideas, great ideas going forward. So I think it will be the age of the Indian entrepreneur. Thanks very much.